Hi everybody, it's Az here from Heel vs. Babyface on the beta for World of Warcraft's next expansion, Legion. Now, a few days ago, Blizzard decided to put up another testing server for his beta folks, and it was the Invasion server. And what happens on here is the pre-Legion invasion of the Legion into Azeroth event. Yes, it really is that difficult for me to say. So what we have here is where the Legion come en masse into our beautiful land of Azeroth. Now, if you followed my channel, you may have seen that I did put up a video a few months ago of me actually participating in a different facet of this. And this is where you in the main capital city of your faction could actually get perverted by the Burning Legion and turn yourself, don't worry, you're in full control of this, can, uh, turn yourself into a demon and fight against your kind, NPCs and players alike. Now it only lasts for 60 seconds at a time and then you die, which is probably just for desserts for turning into a big fat troll. But it was a pretty cool event. This, which we're getting to see here, is the more social one. This is where loads of people can get involved with. So, is this pre-expansion event any good? I'm going to go into the pros and cons and tell you exactly what I think about it. And let's start with the positives. Let's start with the pros. Well, number one, it is so damn cool to see the Legion en masse invading Azeroth coming and bursting through the nether and attacking our beautiful planet. It's awesome to see because it's not just small demons. Some of them are freaking massive. We've got huge infernals, huge doom guards, we've got huge dreadlords, absolutely massive pit lords coming through to fight us. It's such a cool event. And because there's so many of them, and because this is meant to be a social, yes, that's number two, the social aspect of it there's loads of players here too let's face it warlords of draenor was the most anti-social expansion that we've ever had so suddenly to see so many players in the world of warcraft helping you out while you do this event as well all working together is a good feeling it's a really nice feeling blizzard I'm going to harp on about it because this is things that you should do in the future. Okay, I think they've got the point. Yeah, but it's so great to be able to team up with a bunch of other players and just do something socially together, even if you're not uh, physically in a party. Also, there's some pretty decent rewards for you here. Participating from start to finish will probably net you a couple of chests. A regular chest, and then if you complete and finish the final stage, uh, a more souped up, sexier chest, which will have a better reward inside. Now, if you are a raider, there's probably nothing for you here. Only nothing in as much as it's not going to increase your item level or anything, but it's still going to give a specific pre-expansion set so transmoggers you'll be able to look different even if it's just a cosmetic change uh, low level players this is probably going to give you some 685 gear and that's the gear kind of like the baseline gear going into legion i think it's been very specifically set up you also get some crystals as a reward. No, stop it, please. Stop throwing yourselves off cliffs. Come, no, no. Come, come, come back, come back. Stop, wait. Don't kill yourselves, people. Don't step into the light when I mention crystals here. No, you're going to get some crystals as well, but these crystals you're going to hand into a vendor and you get them loads at a time. It's not like an Apexis grind, I promise you. Uh, you're going to hand them into a vendor and they've no doubt got some rewards for you as well. Now, I don't want to go specific into these rewards because Blizzard have already said that the rewards are most likely going to change. Uh, so there's no point in kind of like saying what there is too much at the moment, but we're probably looking at gear. We're probably looking at uh, a weapon. We're probably going to be looking at maybe pets and some sort of cosmetic toy so kind of think in those lines and you probably won't be too disappointed so so we've got the social element to it we've got the demons coming in on mass looking really sexy and we've got the reward element to it as well on top of that i believe there are eight 
different invasion sites. And as you can see, uh, this one on the screen right now is in Sentinel Hill. So this is very specific to the Alliance. So it looks like there's probably going to be four for the Horde and four for the Alliance. So the Alliance don't have to go jumping back and forth maybe between Kalimdor. Because I imagine if the Horde were to come over here and attempt to help us, all the NPC guards are going to attack. Uh, so that could get rather messy, unless, of course, that is exactly what you have planned, and maybe this expansion event starts some more organic PvP. Heaven forbid organic PvP ever breaks out in the World of Warcraft. Darren Mills, how's your... <coughs> Sorry, I've got a terrible, terrible cough. So those are pros. Those are positives about this event. Let's go into a few of the not so positive about it. If you are a long-term player and you participated in the pre-Wrath of the Lich King expansion event, yes, you are essentially doing the same. It's pretty much identical to that. They've just broken it up into four different stages. But because the World of Warcraft, of course, has moved on considerably since then, there's probably a lot of people that haven't as well. So we don't need to dwell too much on that. But long-term players, this is going to be very familiar. Now, because it has been broken up into stages, there was one thing that was very apparent. Even when this server went live and was fresh, what I noticed was... When it got to stage 3, which is normally the Defend X area stage of this event, loads of people stopped participating. Why did they stop participating? Well, you had to fill up a bar from 0 to 100. And killing a demon didn't even give a percentage. Like, some demons, it'd take, you'd have to kill, like, four little demons for 1% to fill up. And if you killed a bigger demon, then maybe it would go up by 1% or 2%. And because the bar was filling up so slowly, loads of people decided to stop. They couldn't be bothered. They left it to other people. And because they left it to other people, there was only a few of us left attacking, which then made it last longer and by the time we got to stage four we were pretty much burnt out it took us like 10 minutes or more to just do that one stage that needs to be addressed either the demons percentages need to go up or they need to condense what stage three is or provide uh, vehicles or something along those lines which will expedite matters and just push it along there's nothing worse than an event like this dragging on considering that this event was going to be with us for probably two or three weeks or so and is going to spawn uh, on a semi-regular basis. So you are wanting people to participate a lot in these events if they want to get all the rewards. So the last thing that you need is to bore them to tears with having a really long stage. Good thing is, of course, still two and a half months away to the launch of Legion. So probably about two months or so until this event goes live. Plenty of time for Blizzard to tweak this. But other than that, there isn't pr there isn't really any more cons I can say about it. It's decent fun. It's not. I'm not going to blow it out of all proportions and say it's the best thing ever. It's okay. You know, it's it's pretty standard fare for what we've seen in the World of Warcraft. But seeing the Legion there on mass, seeing loads of people again in the World of Warcraft actually fighting together, they kind of give you some pretty good feels inside. So this event is definitely more of a thumbs up than a thumbs down event. So there we go. Just by seeing what you can see on the screen with loads of little snippets that have put together of these couple of events that I've participated in so far. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. And I hope you enjoyed the vid. If you did, do give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel. Follow me on social media and Twitch for live streaming. Links there in the description down below. And I'll be back with some more stuff very soon. You take care, everybody. Bye-bye.